it was one of those moments where you go in the room and you punch in the bed and shit, pack a bag and basically run away. She was trying to tell me everything that the other girl did with the boy who made me uncomfortable. I was like, no, bitch, let's get into what you did. Mm, baby, I don't Text him and I'm like, you dead to me. Yaga. Yeah, nah. Oh my god. One of my twisters fell out. <laughs> I had this like million dollar plan. I was like, okay, I'm gonna film about four videos today. I'm gonna really do the big one. I'm gonna really show my ass. I'm gonna show them the content creator in me. Salem went to work with my SD SIM card in the car and that just stressed me out. So I only got one SIM card with about 64 gigabytes, which is about an hour and 21 minutes of footage. And this whole third time is gonna be that. So y'all just gotta bear with me. These twists is old as so I really tried to like give y'all a style today while I tell my story time because I realized I've been looking like a bum. And if y'all see my previous video with Salem, I look so crazy. But like that's that boyfriend error because the whole vlog I was looking a mess. And I was just thinking to myself like why would you get on the internet looking like that? Welcome back to my channel today. I am back with another video. Today's video will be a story time. I know y'all have missed my story time so much. But I'm running out of trauma because I mean I'm only 19 years old. And I know that y'all think I am 30 but I'm only 19. So I only got about... Uh, when did I start the bullshit? 19 years of all bullshit. To like really give stories about, so I'm running out of uh, stories to tell. Even when I'm like getting stories nowadays, it'd be so hard to remember them because they never really go the way that they would go before in the past. Because nine times out of time, with my boyfriends or my friends who I trust. But today's story time is gonna be the worst whooping I've ever gotten in my entire life. And then I'm going to tell y'all about how I tried to run away that night. And then when I didn't run away with my friends, like she tried to get me to run away with her because she was a runaway. She ran away to my crush his house and then she slept with him and lost her respect to that man so um that was like a wild title but i'm not lying at all so clear it up because lo that was a mouthful like i was editing it and i was like um there's no way you can make that make sense today's story time will be about the time that i tried to run away because i got the worst flipping in my life uh and my friend who encouraged me to run away when i didn't run away she ran away to the man y'all it sounded the same coming in my mouth she ran away to my boyfriend's house. My boyfriend. That wasn't my man. I had about multiple. Um, and she lost her V-card to him. But, um, yeah. So, let's get back into it. Let's get into it. I did my lashes and everything because I promise you I'm not wasting no footage. So, yeah, I will be beating my face at the same time because, again, I've been feeling real ugly. For background, y'all, let me make a disclaimer that me and my mom really don't beef like this no more. Like, me and my mom actually have grown so close like i call her she my bestie like literally i love her so much so i honestly don't hold this against my mom at all because i mean at the end of the day it was just an ass whooping but i was doing foolishness but i feel like my mom could have spared me um uh, my mom was just fed up with me so so yeah for some context at this point in my life i was actually really bad like i'm not gonna lie i was loose as hell like i was just running around with like the wrong crowds and my mom honestly like she just wasn't in a gentle parenting type of mood understandable she was always trying to convince me like get me to really see like why i need to like remove myself away from the crowd that i was hanging around but honestly i just wasn't willing to hear my mom out i honestly had no intentions on caring about what could benefit me and what couldn't because at this point in my life i was just always going through some shit. i got jumped like literally in like a year like i was going through the most i got jumped i got in another fight i got in another fight i got in another fight around fake ass bitches all the time so obviously i was just doing dumb honesty i really was doing dumb stuff because a lot of the situations i was in were very triggering to me about stuff that i never like acknowledged until like i actually was grown like i wasn't even in high school yet so it was just so overwhelming to just deal with it i was just dealing with it like i wasn't really connecting like now nowadays it's just like okay like she might be acting like this because the person she's who she's hanging around is triggering like before it was none of that like it would just be oh she's hanging around them because she want to be like them but in reality it's just that i used to say to my mom all the time i relate to them so much more mom will be like how the f do you relate to these bitches? they don't have no parents who care about them they don't have this they don't have this they don't have this and i'm like girl you don't get it like i relate to the feelings they have i relate to the situations they've been through because again i was going through them and my mom wasn't aware so like it was just too much it was too much so i remember i had this something i don't remember what i did but i just want to say i just 
wanna say I just wanna say but I'm not 100% sure that around this time and why I was grounded because I can't remember specifically why I was grounded and when I was grounded y'all I'm not grounded like how y'all be grounded like when y'all be grounded y'all moms be like oh you can have your phone back when you're going to school but when you're not at school the phone is mine but my mom oh no she don't give a f the way my mom used to make sure I was safe was she would tell me oh yeah that phone is mine and then after school every day I'd have to call her when I get home so like she give me a time frame and if I didn't call her by that time I'm playing in her face yeah I was grounded and I want to say that I was grounded for putting that sunflower seed in that girl's butt crack clear it up I already made the story time about it I made the story time about it I think I was in college when I made that story time so y'all just gotta scroll down I think the thing is literally I almost got arrested because I put a sunflower seed in the girl's bucket it was honestly a misunderstanding I promise but I'm not 100% sure why I was grounded but at this point I was on my mom list I did something bad like I don't remember what I did but it was so bad I remember how it went about I knew I was gonna get in trouble from when I left school because I had did something bad so I really ran home and then I waited till my mom got home look at me trying to gas like this woman I waited till she was about to come in the door and then I called this place because it was around Mother's Day so I called this place um that my mom told me she wanted like a perfume from I was gonna pretend that I got this perfume for my mom or like whatever it was watch whatever I called this company I put them on speaker and my mom came home so i wanted my mom to hear like okay she's ordering me a present <laughs> me trying to gaslight like her like i'm just like a daddy like, i'm just like my daddy i'm sorry and the way i tried to gaslight her was by putting the gift people on the phone and pretending that i was buying my mom a gift so when she came to the door she was like to me hang up and then i got my ass dealt with she didn't give a about that song she didn't give a about that perfume my mom didn't care about none it backfired on me low-key because me trying to order in this ungrateful half up price it backfired on me low-key because y'all why the I have my card out because obviously I'm about to buy my mom a present. Keep in mind, at this time, I was a shopaholic. So I had got my first debit card from my daddy. So you already know, like, I was really shopping. Not my mom, but my daddy. My dad specifically got me this credit card or this debit card to, like, put money on it because I didn't live near him or whatever. So my mom would see that as, like, a punishment, too, because I'm just shopping online. I'm buying shit on Wish. I always brought so many things from Wish. Like, man, don't get me started, bruh. It backfired on me because I have my card out because obviously I'm about to buy this lady the present so that she don't beat the f out of me and she was like to me not only to hang up on the fucking lady even though i was on hold with this for 20 minutes after she handled my ass she was like and give me that card i hope you don't think you're about to be out here shopping you don't need no money you don't need no phone and you don't need no money after then i was just on punishment for mad long like i remember she would not spare me like my mom would make sure i had no fun like she would be like turn off that tv my sister would like not even be interested in the show but she'd put it on for me sometimes because she know i'd be bored but then my mom would be like uh-uh and i used to have my sister's ipad so i used to always be on my sister's ipad when my mom was at work like my mom you take my phone for mad long like she didn't give my phone back for mad long anyway down to the day that i ran away or why i wanted to run away or the day i got my worst ass ever breaking this down chapter by chapter i just gave y'all a prelog is it prelog prelog i read too much to not know the name of this anyway yeah so i told y'all why my car was taken in the first place that wasn't even the worst bull whooping I got. Like, I, she didn't even do too much. She literally just got tight at me, swung on me. <laughs> you lucky you're not like, on the street. She used to tell me if I want to take a chance, take it. But my mom know how to fight, so I used to be scared. Like, no, girl, I'm cool. Like, here's the phone. But anyway, I told y'all why I got the car taken. And now I'm going to tell y'all about the day that I actually, like, wanted to run away. Like, the day I got my worst bull whooping. So that seven minutes prior was just a little bit of juicy tea. I was on punishment. I was not supposed to be outside. Of course, my mom had work. But this day, I want to say I did not have school. I want to say I did not have school because of the fact that when I had school, I probably wouldn't have been at my friend's house for this long. I didn't have school and my mom had work. And remember I told y'all my mom had work until about like 8 o'clock at night at this time. So when my mom had work, I always was going to my friend's house. And we're going to name this friend. Y'all said that y'all want names, so we're going to give her a name. We're going to name her Alice, okay? We're going to name her Alice. So, me and Alice was hella close. And I keep telling y'all story times about this. Me and this girl was so close. She had so many issues. I think she was mentioned in my last story time as well. And she will always run away. Like, this girl was known for running the f*** away. Like, she hated home. She never come home, nigga. 
But I mean, I understand, like, even when I was on punishment one time, y'all, this is how y'all know. My mom, she was not even a fan of sleepovers. Like, my mom would never let me have a sleepover. So, one time, Alice fled to my house after, like, a big fight with her parents. And my mom ended up letting Alice spend the night that night. And that surprised the fuck out of me. Because, like, when she showed up to my house, I was like, oh, my God, girl. I hope you don't think that my mom's going to let you spend the night because my mom don't even play like that. Like, I hope y'all don't think, like, oh, my mom's a bad person. But the way my mom looks at it is, like, but at the end of the day, this is not my child. So, I'm not about to bring this child and her family problems into my home keep in mind my mom didn't like the girl because the girl was always bringing me in drama so like the bitch was fake like she was my closest op like that was my closest op and I feel like everybody could see it besides me she fled to my house one time and my mom even let this girl in basically like her and her mom had gotten into a big fight and my mom knew it was terrible because even that night my mom still called the girl's mom to be like hey your daughter's here and I have no problem with her spending the night if like you know it needs to blow over and the lady was just like yeah no problem and my mom always told me from that day she knew some shit was like wrong because she was like no mom in a right mind would be like oh yeah I don't care if my daughter spends the night at this complete stranger's house who I don't know that was some context about the girl's house who I was at that day she had like a very toxic household but like her mom was barely home just like mine my mom was working from like 11 a.m to like 8 p.m so this day it had to be a day that I didn't have school and I used to always I had my iPad I didn't have my phone my mom used to always be like okay bye and then I would just go out to her house like literally she lived down the block from me so I would just always go over there and we will always hang out and her mom was never there. She asked me if I wanted to come over to her house and of course I did because I always went to her house. Context to the story, the debit card that my dad had gave me, me and my sister shared it, right? But my mom had took that credit card from me. So what I used to do was my dad was still putting money on it because my sister needed to use it. My mom, like, I feel like my mom just didn't process the fact that me and my sister both had to use it. She just more so processed it as I'm taking this credit card, I'm gonna who gotta use it when my dad would put money on there and stuff he was still putting money on there for me and my sister so what i used to just do was when my mom left for work i would just take that card and then i would just go buy what i wanted that day my mom kind of was a little bit I don't want to call it slow, but I definitely was still getting AliExpress and Wish packages to the house, but she never put two and two together. I'm pretty sure she just probably assumed that these orders were before I was on punishment because at this point, you know, they take about three in BC to send you your item. I took my card before I went to my friend's house because we was all going to be hanging out and it was going to be me, her, and her other toxic best friend. I'm going to take my card because obviously I don't want to be the broke bitch. And mind you, I'm never the broke I brought my card out this day. My sister knew I was going out. I just told her I was going out. So while I was at my friend's house and we get hungry, so we're like, we're about to go get food. And we decided that we were going to get Papa John's. Nobody had money besides me. Also too, I took my iPad out the house. They didn't have money. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just pay for it because it's not that big of a deal, right? When I did this move, it wasn't even on no shady towards my sister at all but I had pre the card let's just say like the card had like $30 on it I used it and I probably had like I don't even know how much money left on the card probably like $30 on the card and I probably used like $25 of the card to buy us two boxes of pizza from Papa John's right and I had audacity to get a drink too keep in mind I'm not supposed to have this card right I'm not thinking anything of it I'm just thinking I'm using my money because that's what I always did like I promise you I used to just take my card and I used to just go about my business like I would go buy snacks and then I would hide them because I don't want my mom to see that I have snacks because she's probably gonna ask me where I brought them from or something it's time for me to go home so my sister had texted me let me clear it up I had Wi-Fi at Alice house so I had the iPad and right before I left my sister had texted me on the iPad um, I don't remember what she texted me on. It basically was just like, hey, can you get me pizza on the way home? But my sister wanted like two or three slices of pizza when I was coming home. And I took the bank account card and I prayed that I didn't have enough money. So I just covered my tracks. Obviously, I'm going to cover my tracks, but I basically just told her, Papa John's, they don't have dollar slices right now because they didn't. Um, They only have like, I don't know. I told her the expensive ones and that there wasn't enough money on the card. So she was just like, okay, I'm home now. I was home and I was minding my business and I heard my sister on the phone with my father, right? Mind you, my dad knew I was on punishment and I hear her say to my dad like, hey, can you put money on the car because there's no more money on the car. So my dad was like to my sister, how is there no money? I guess that's what he said. I don't know. That's what my sister said, but she be f***ing lying. But basically she told me that my dad asked her like, how is there no money on the card? I just put money on the card two days ago. And she was like, I don't know. Let me go ask Ricky. So I guess she took it about on her bright ass 
mine to come ask me. Mind you, my mom comes home at this point. So my mom is in her room and our rooms was not far from each other at all. And my mom's door room is open. My dad had the account login. So I guess he just went to the account login and then just realized, oh, I brought pizza. So I guess he told her to ask me. Clearly I can use them like if you see the transaction say Papa John's $24 and I told you that I went to Papa John's today. Clearly I did. But nonetheless, my sister decided to ask me nice and loud, Ricky, did you use the money or all of the money today on the card to buy pizza? And I was like, yes. But like when she said that, my heart already skipped a beat because like why would you say that so loud? Like mom's room is right there. Yeah, like I went to answer because I'm not scared to tell the bitch that I used the card. And my mom was like, and I was like, mm, baby, I don't understand. Like she don't miss nothing. My mom don't miss a motherfucking beat. As soon as my sister said that, my mom said, what fucking card? I know you didn't fucking come in this room and take this card out of my room. I could hear her open up the drawer that the card was in, but the card is back because I'm not dumb enough to keep the fucking card with me. So I'm not going to lie. When my mom said that, I was like, when I tell you I sat the up in my twin bed so my mom was like oh hell no like i know you don't have this much audacity so i'm like i don't got that much audacity mom i heard her get up my sister was like she just started saying i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i didn't know she could hear me i didn't know she could hear me and i'm just like get the f away from me i just remember my heart beating so fast instantly was just like damn like i'm caught her my mom get up and she comes to my room because again she only about 10 steps away before she really got me by the neck and she was like ricky did you come to my room and take that card on my room like be for real like you you don't have enough balls to do that i'm looking at her like ghost one come in like some meatball i've been doing this since the day you took the card to be honest the way i answered was no she said like if i find out that you're lying it's gonna be an issue it's going to be a problem and i'm just looking at her like okay i'm gonna give you a couple seconds to think about that and when i come back in this room i'm gonna ask you again did you take that card out of my room and i need it i need a i need an honest answer so i'm like okay at this point, I'm finna tell the truth, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I was so irritated because it's like, I can't catch a break. So yeah, my mom comes back in my room and she asks me again. And when she asks me again, I'm honest and I was like, yes, I did. This is exactly how I went. So did you take that car out of my room and go buy shit today? Yes. I'm gonna fuck you up. As soon as she said that, I was like, yeah, please, yeah, please. And I know she was finna with my ass. Mind you, my mom really never beat my ass. For real. So honestly, I could say this time in my life was the worst I've used to get my ass beat because I never really got hit as a kid. I could count on my hands how many times I got hit by my dad. Not even hits, like a hit. And then with my mom, I could count how many times she probably beat my ass too. Like my mom really never beat my ass for real. I started putting on mad clothes because she went to her room and I heard her Gucci belt buckle. I was like, oh. <laughs> GG. Yeah, my mom came in that room with that Gucci belt, bro. I never thought in my life, because I be used to hear stories about my friends being like, oh yeah, they, they used to get beat with like irons and naked in the shower and they used to get caught lacking in the shower and stuff. I was like, oh my God, like y'all parents need to go see the lady. My mom, she told me to take my pants off and I was like, um, like I'm not gonna lie. Parents telling their kids to strip, it's so weird to me. So when my mom did it, but when she said it to me, I looked at her in just so much disgust. Like even at this point in my life, when I did something bad, I just never expected my mom to be the mom to be like strip. Like I don't think I understand. Like I have to emphasize, got my so, like this was the worst ass whooping I've ever gotten. She probably gonna hate that I told this story. She's gonna be like, don't tell the internet I was beating you. But like you beat my ass, girl, you better embrace it. Like shit. I'm not saying that it wasn't deserved. I just said that you beat my ass. Like, y'all don't drag my mama. So obviously I'm ready to run away. Clearly, I'm not looking at it from a point of view of a parent who's tired. Like, I'm young. I'm a kid. She hurt my feelings. But why would you do that? It wasn't even that serious. I feel like at this point, you could have really talked to me. You could have even said shit like, I'm ready to give your up it would have made me feel better but like it was more so like a whooping like you hated me so it was like oh my god like i just took that as my mom hates me and i already have been communicating with alice i'm over my family life like she had a toxic family life and i think that's one of the reasons why we probably bonded because i don't think my family life was like no i don't think my family life was kind of toxic but it had its reasons for being toxic i feel like for her it was just bro no matter what she did no matter how uh she tries to get out this cycle with her family like her family just likes negativity my more so was like as soon as i moved out of the state my family went back to normal i remember just like crying so hard clearly it wasn't even the whooping like i want to make this clear it was not even the whooping it was just more so like bro like i hate my life like i was depressed do i look like a jump scare maybe i feel like the whooping just triggered this moment on why i was so ready to run away 
because obviously like a belt ain't gonna make me really dip out and leave my luxurious apartment and dip out you know what I mean but just life was really life in it I was so young and I was so depressed all these emotions I don't know how to express I had my sister's iPad I logged into snapchat I had texted my friend Alice I was telling her like I want to like I was basically just crying to her in the bathroom just like bawling my eyes out just how you know this bitch is evil bro I'm crying to this bitch about one of the I basically told her what happened. I'm like, my mom found out that I took my card. It was one of those moments where you go in the room and you punch in the bed and shit. So Alice was like to me, bro, no, that's not acceptable. Like, she can't do that to you and think that's okay. Like, you have to get away from her right now. You are able to come to my house. I'll ask my mom. I appreciated her wanting to help me. Obviously, this is my best friend, so. And like, in this moment, I generally think she was like being a good friend. So she was like to me, I want you to come to my house, pack a bag, and basically run away. She basically was telling me to run away. She was telling me, pack this, pack this. I'm like, okay, so I'm packing all my stuff, and I shared it with my sister. So I was silently crying while packing, but like clearly you could still hear because at this point, it's probably like 2 a.m. in the morning. And I was texting Alice, and she was like, I'm coming right now. Like she and the girl who we was with that day, the bitch is so unimportant to other people. Alice was like, I'm finna run up the hill, and I'm gonna um come get you and then she was telling me how after we was going to hang out with these guys my crush was involved with this so at this point I'm just like I don't even care who we going to hang out with I just wanted to be out of this house like, I just did not want to be here no more so after my sister yeah. heard me oh my god one of my twisters fell out what the fuck when my sister heard me like packing my shit I turned on like because I was looking for something my sister looked at me immediately because she probably was wondering what the fuck I was doing in this room the whole time so when my sister seen what I was doing she was like what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, bro, I'm leaving. Like, I don't want to be here no more. So I'm packing my stuff. And my sister gets up and she starts fighting me for my clothes. So we in that tussling. I'm like, <laughs> like I'm literally crying because I just want my sister to give me my shit so I could go about my day. I grabbed the iPad because obviously I need it. I don't got no phone because my mom took my phone. I'm still on punishment. So I'm using her iPad. She was like to me, okay, well then if you're gonna leave, give me my iPad. But bitch. That didn't stop nothing because I'm really trying to get out of here for real. Like, this iPad don't mean shit to me. I'd rather be phoneless than be in this house right now. So I said, okay, and I threw the iPad at her. I was like, leave me alone now. Literally, my mom is still in the room, knocked the f out, sleep, like, snoring, sleep. But my sister couldn't get the bag out of my hand. I still kept packing. She kept trying to unpack the bag. Right before I gave my sister the iPad, my friend texted me. She was like, I'm downstairs. So I knew where she was. She was on the corner of where my house was, and I had to, like, run down that block. I had went to, onto, like, my son porch, and I had looked over, and I could see them standing there, and they were, like, waving, like, frantically, like, come, come down, come down. Literally, I made it down the stairs. And as soon as I made it down the stairs, my sister said to me, if you leave this house right now, I'm going to scream, and I'm going to wake mom up, and she's going to come downstairs. And it's not you're not getting anywhere so when she said that it was like one of those moments where like you stopped dead in your tracks because if my mom woke up it was over with i would also have to deal with the consequences of trying to run away so it's like i rather just abort missions do this shit another time and go about my business i'm not gonna lie i'm low-key glad and i'm grateful that my sister stopped me from running away because i feel like that would have caused so much extra issues in my life if i ran away because i've never ran away before never ever ever and neither has my sister and my mom has never kicked us out before so it's like that would have been a situation where it just escalated into another toxic phase of like living i had went back upstairs and i just started bawling my eyes out and my sister was like i'm sorry for telling my mom and blah 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 and i texted my friends and i was like my sister is not letting me leave she was just like it's okay Okay, like just know that like any time of the night uh, I'll come get you or whatever so I'm like okay no problem later that night I told you I was going to try to escape again so I texted her I texted my friend and I was like yo we're like what is the vibes like what are you guys doing because I was honestly just trying to even just sneak out like just clear my mind like do something she never responded to me that night so I was like maybe these bitches went to sleep mind you chapter two we finna get into Alice now and how this went wrong because I didn't know girls was getting their cheeks busted, except mine, but whatever. Remember I told y'all, she was texting me on Snapchat telling me, she had told me she was going to this guy's house. She wasn't going to the guy's house who I liked, she was going to the friend's house of that guy who was going to be there. And we're gonna name this man White, okay? Alice never responded to me that night, so I'm like, oh okay, these fake like okay i didn't think nothing of it i just thought like she probably went to sleep i don't remember the exact story of like what she told and what she lied about so the next day at school we was all chilling and i knew that they had went over there because the next day we was texting and it was fine she told me she had so much fun she went over there blah blah, blah. but this is the part where she had me 
fucked up. So when she, at the time when she went over to the boy's house, there was multiple boys there. Not only was there multiple boys there, but there was also a boy who I told her made me feel uncomfortable. I told her multiple times that this person made me feel uncomfortable. She was there when it happened anyway. But anyway, I'm kind of low-key glad that I didn't go over there because if I would have went over there, the boy, he was also there as well. Clear it up, I was referencing the boy who made me uncomfortable, even though White was there too, but they was all there because they was all in a friend group. When I asked her what happened, she really didn't say nothing. Like, she was just like, oh, we all just hung out. We all just chilled. Cool. I'm not pressing it because I don't care. I wasn't there. Fast forward, fast forward. There was another friend. We was all talking because we was all friends. Like, yeah. She had told me that Alice had told her that she lost her virginity. So I was like... To me, that was like, uh-huh, because outside of the other friend, me and Alice was mad close. So, like, to hear her have told Elle that she lost her V-card before she told me was, like, low-key surprising because I was like, okay, like, why didn't she just tell me? I wasn't even thinking that, like, this was the situation where she did it at. I remember just going up to her. I went up to her and I was like, you lost your virginity? Like, why didn't you tell me? And she was looking at me stunned, like, oh my god, I did not know you knew. And I'm like, yeah, why didn't you just tell me? Like, what? So she was like, yeah, I lost my um, V card. And I was like, uh, I'm with the details. I know this sounds invasive, but it's not. When we were that young, we were so close. Like, I literally used to teach this girl how to take nudes and shit. So, like, no. This was, like, a close friend to me. So, me being like, I want details is like, girl, tell me the details. Not, I want to know exactly what's going on before y'all start with me. Because, oh, my God, this generation just is so dense. She starts stuttering like a motherfucker. And I was like, first off, who was it? Because she had like another like full-time boyfriend. The same, like, I don't know how y'all don't be connecting the dots. It's literally because I don't be giving y'all the time frame. But she had like another little boo stink who she was like 100% like sure that was the love of her life. So I was like, oh, it must have been him. I'm waiting for the story. She hits me with, yeah, I'm not supposed to When I tell you, my mouth fell open because I was like, at this point, I'm not surprised because like me and White literally couldn't, we couldn't even make it work if we wanted to because of the fact that I fought his cousin. They was trying me. So many bitches wanted to beef with me about this man. And he's ugly as fuck. And that was used to piss me off. I had to tell him too. Like, he texted me one day talking about, oh, you call me ugly. I was like, I mean, I said you're not the cutest. Take it how you want to take it. He brought nothing to the table. Like, why? Why would you do that? So when she said that, I looked at her like, are you dead ass? There's no way you did that. She was legit telling me the story. She legit started dating this man. Like, they legit went into a whole relationship. She was telling me, like, the details about they were all hanging out at first. They were just, just talking in the corner. And then everybody had went to sleep. Oh, also, too, <laughs> this dirty, nasty f She was telling me that her friend, who's disgusting, because, like, why would you do that? Gave glock glock to the guy who I had told that made me so uncomfortable. So it was really like I was catching strays. I get whooped because I hung out with these two girls and I brought us food. Okay, cool. Not their problem, okay? I made my own choice. But then they go to the guy's house that same night that they were supposed to help me run away. And like the two men that was off limits, they was just, it was like, am I scum? I don't know. Lord. And the funny thing about it is when this happened, it didn't affect me at all. Like, I just was hearing the tea and I was just like, you're, why would you do that? Like, I was not deeply affected, I promise you. This whole situation is just nasty to me. Like, she was trying to tell me everything that the other girl did with the boy who made me uncomfortable instead of telling me. I was like, no, bitch, let's get into what you did. I just remember her telling me about a pool table. So when she told me, I was just like, okay, bet. Like, I ate it and I just was like, bet, he fuck with you, cool. So I remember texting him and I'm like, you dead to me. He was like, what did I do though? Like, I didn't even know that me and you was still, cause you was still talking to this person. I'm like, I don't even care. It had nothing to do with that. <laughs> it had nothing to do with that because he didn't care that I was talking to his teammates. I cared that you took my best friend's virginity. Like, I do care. Why would you do that? I can't remember y'all uh, if I ever showed like signs of like anger, but I'm most likely I did because why wouldn't I? I remember telling her like when we had finally got an argument because I'm one of those who let everything sit in. Well, I never tried to put my hands on this girl because of the fact that like she was so close to me. But like for some reason, even though I did end up like, you know, putting my hands on her, she was still someone who I held off putting my hands on her because I liked her. Like you was like supposed to be my friend. And I don't know why, maybe I'm a bitch who like to save people because I seen this 
that she was going through when it came to her home life. But yeah, um, I never put my hands on her about the situation though, but I definitely was just looking at her different. I could not lie. Like she one of those friends who like, she crossed you, but she have no problem helping you cross another person. And she, I don't think she really watched that situation as like her crossing me until like we got into an argument one day and I'm like, you grimy as f I don't even know why I f with you. I still didn't feel no like hate towards her. Like, you know what I mean? So when I f heard like, okay, this was the night that she chose to lose her to your crush it was like bro like i was just so mad like this is why i used to just fight because it's just like bro like y'all just be blowing me it was like that love for her where it was just like wow i can't believe you did that to me but like you still not i ain't never gonna fall out with you about a man my friend slept with my boyfriend or my crush so yeah no girl should ever i don't care what nobody say i don't give a how none of y'all feel it here nobody 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 should ever in your life who's calling you a friend should ever mess with the same guy you mess with i don't care it's girl code i don't care i don't give a how long ago it was it don't matter if your friend fixes her mouth to ask you can i mess with this guy who you dealt with it don't matter it's like why would you even give a man the privilege to say that he messed with both of us once i see my friend with a guy they off limits it don't matter if me and that person even fall out like i don't f with you no more but i don't want Yo, old nigga, like, I don't want no parts. And that's just how I feel about it. I know other people have different morals. I'm having my morning safe. Um, this video is going up today. So comment down below how you guys feel about what I just said. Because I know there's some girls who be like, oh, I don't care. I just want my friend to be happy. But uh, be happy with someone else. So, yeah, comment how you feel about what I said. Um, if you disagree, everybody be nice to this um, fool. But yeah, that's just the company I keep around me because I don't deserve that and you don't deserve that neither. So stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay positive, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye! Y'all supposed to get like mad videos today, but again, my SIM card gone. So I'd rather give y'all one video than give y'all no video. Bye!